This is a demonstration of how to add XY coordinates to a point shape file. Uh, for example, you might want to export the point shape file and then upload it to a GPS, or you might want to export the point shape file information and work with it in Excel and then bring it back into ArcMap. Either way, we need to add the XY coordinates to the attribute table. So in this example, we're going to be doing latitude and longitude. So first, you see that I'm here at uh, ArcMap. I've opened a project. Before I do anything, I'm going to go to the data frame. And this is before I add any data. I'm going to I'm going to choose data frame properties, and I'm going to set the coordinate system to the GCS or latitude and longitude system. That way, when I add the coordinates, it will add the GCS coordinates. And you see, I've got GCS the North American datum of 1983. That's the coordinates that I want. That's the ones that I set data frame for. If you want to add UTM coordinates, you can just set this to UTMs, but most of the time you'll want latitude and longitude. I'm going to click Apply, then OK. Now the data frame is set. Now let's add some data. So I'm going to add our polygon from Spring Lake. And I can't show you the full screen, but I can pan, and you can see I've got our Spring Lake polygon. Then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to add a point file of some random points that I've already created. And you see that I've got about 100, exactly, exactly 100 random points in Spring Lake. Now I want to add our latitude, longitude coordinates to these points. So I'm going to go up here and right click on the point shape file name in the table of contents. I'm going to open the attribute table. And here's the attribute table. Not much to it. What I need to do is I need to add two new fields or two new columns. One for latitude, one for longitude. So I'll come down here to options and choose add field. I'm going to name the first one lawn for longitude. Now I'm going to change this to the double type. This just is the type variable that's going to be stored in that column. And the double variable type means that I can store numbers with many digits behind the decimal point, which is what we want. It gives us a little bit more precision in our latitude longitude coordinates. Once I've done that, I click OK. And if I come back up, to the attribute table, you see that we've added a column named lawn. So now I'm going to repeat that. Add field. This one I'm going to name lat. Also change it to the double type. Click OK. And now I have columns for longitude and latitude. All I have to do now is fill in the coordinates. So I'm going to right click on the column header for longitude. Choose calculate geometry you see that I have the option of adding the x-coordinate of the point or the y-coordinate of the point. Longitude is x-coordinate, so I choose x-coordinate. Now you see the default is that it wants to use the coordinate system of the data source. My point file is in UTMs, so it wants to add the UTM coordinates, but I already said I want the GCS coordinates. And so I change that to the coordinate system of the data frame, which is GCS, decimal degrees, click OK, and you see that we've added the longitude for each point. Repeat for latitude. This time we want the Y coordinate, which is latitude. Change it to decimal degrees, click OK, and here we have the latitude. Now I can export this attribute table and I can upload it to a GPS or work with it in Excel or whatever you want to do. That's it. Have fun.